Hello, this is Ayomikbo Adeshin and you're watching School by Posh Ferry. Hello and welcome back to School by Posh Ferry. This week we'll be talking, sorry, well, for the next couple of weeks we'll be talking about our facial structure types. Now this is a very, very important topic. A lot of us, you know, we don't even know what kind of facial structure type we have and we don't know the best way to style our facial structure. Have you ever seen someone who, you know, looks a little older than their age? Sometimes it's just the wrong hairstyle. But don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm gonna walk you through the different facial structure types we have and the most appropriate hairstyles to bring out that beauty because we all have it. Very natural beauty, no matter the facial structure type you have. Okay, so I'm going to start off, I've categorized it into four, but I'm going to start off today with curvy faces. Now, curvy faces are simply faces that, you know, they've got the curves, they're a bit rounded. So we have the round facial structure type and the oblong facial structure type. The round facial structure type is a round face. <laughs> Literally, it looks like a circle. So the distance between your forehead and your chin and your cheekbones one to the other is literally almost the same you know so these are the people who look like they've got the big cheeks like me <laughs> you know um rounded foreheads also maybe not a very well defined chin now even though we fall within one particular facial structure type it's possible for you to almost look like a different one or combine two together but we want to deal with the most prominent one when we're choosing hairstyles that best suit us. So like I said, the round face, you know, it's almost equidistant. It's equal, your forehead to your chin, and then one cheek to the other. That's what gives you that round structure. Now, some of the best hairstyles for a round face, and let me just say this, and maybe I'm being a little bit biased because I've got round faces that this is a beautiful facial structure type. You get to look young forever. <laughs> and I think that's perfect, you know? People can hardly tell how old you are because of your face. However, you want to make sure that you add structure because what is lacking in a, in a round face is that defined chiseled look that, you know, just gives you that very glamorous effect at the end of the day so you want to also always make sure that you're creating lines chiseled defined lines on your face now for short hair the best kind of short hair for a round face is something that has you know a crop you know a nice crop but has a little bit of height on the crown at the crown of your head you want to give it a little bit of height just to you know create that optical illusion of elongating your face elongating your face a little bit you know so you don't want to do anything that is too chopped to you know your skull because at the end of the day it just creates that roundness so you already have the roundness going for you you just want to create a little bit of a narrowing effect you want to create a little bit of length you want to maybe make your chin look a little bit more defined your jawline and your chin so for a round for the round face short hair do a nice crop, it can be really short everywhere else, but you know, at the crown of your head, just give it a little bit of height. For medium hairstyles, I would say, for me, in my own experience, a blunt bob is the most perfect hairstyle when it comes to medium hair for round faces. So you want something that is just, you know, straight, it just falls straight down on both sides, and then you have a blunt cut. Now, um, this is one thing i will point out for a round face make sure that your hair never ever stops right by your jawline you want to keep a little bit of distance between your jawline and the end of your the tips of your hair so just make sure it falls a little bit below your jawline otherwise if it stops at your jawline then it's just going to pronounce the roundness of your jaw which is not what we want we want to you know create a little bit of um like um, we want to elongate the face so create a little give a little distance between your jawline which is here and the tips of your hair just a little bit of distance another hairstyle that would do for medium you know medium length is maybe some nice waves now um what's the name of these waves now i can't really remember but you don't want anything that is really curly 
at your jawline. You don't want anything really full and rounded here because it will just add to that roundness that you're already experiencing. So you want something that is maybe a little less defined, you know, just nice wispy waves like this. Nothing too full and defined by your jawline. For long hair, as long as possible. This is literally the best hairstyle for a round face. When you have really nice long hair, then you know it takes so much attention away from your jawline and creates that illusion of length for your face and you know kind of gives you that structure, that chisel look that you're looking for, you know. When it comes to updos, an updo should really be up for the round face. You want something that is really high. Up there so you want to maybe wear like a ballerina bun or a very high ponytail you know you just want to create that length because when you're when you have a round face that's what you should keep thinking about you want to create length length so a high ballerina bun or a high ponytail if you like to wear ponytails now another trick that you want to learn is that the center part is your best friend if you've noticed and you watch uh, most of my videos you realize that most of the hairstyles i wear have a center part because this helps to divide your face equally into two parts giving that illusion of length another part that is perfect for the round face is a deep side part so you know it, it's um it's a very interesting illusion it creates that asymmetry but it's very pleasing to the eyes at the end of the day a do a huge um, don't i beg your pardon a huge don't for the round round face don't wear bangs, please. The reason is bangs will reduce the length of your face a little more. And you already have a small face, you know, it's really round already. So by the time you wear bangs, you've taken like a quarter of your face out. So what's left is really, really tiny. So it's not the most flattering look for a round face. Okay, next up is the oblong face. Now the oblong face is a little bit longer, but it also has that rounded jawline like your um like the round face now so for around for the oblong face i would personally say that long hair is the best do a nice long hair do now you may not want to do the center part because the center part will add more length to your face already as is and your face is already quite elongated so maybe you want to do like a, um, a, a side part you know you want to keep it nice and you know, uh, there's this tussled, carefree kind of look that would work very well, long hair. If you want to do something short or medium, I wouldn't really recommend short hair for the oblong face, but if you want to do like medium length hair, then make sure you're doing something that is a little bit longer than your face at the same time so that you can just take that attention away from your rounded jaw so the oblong face is pretty much like the round face you know you want to make sure that the attention is taken away from your rounded jaw you want to um create more of an illusion of structure i don't know why but structure is just so perfect when you're looking at faces <laughs> so you want to create a little bit more of structure now for the oblong face a perfect updo for say a dinner or an award ceremony would be a nice chunky braid you know um nothing high up there on top of your head because i mean that would just add more length but you know maybe a nice chunky braid that just goes right from one end of your head to the other you know and comes all the way down just to take away from your jawline and let's focus on the nice braid instead <laughs> Okay, so for curvy faces, that's it. So the round face, the oblong face, now you know the kind of hairstyles you should be wearing that will flatter your facial structure type. Like I said, these faces are ageless, they're timeless. You can hardly tell what age they are. We're always gonna look young, you know, but you wanna play it up every now and then and just add that structure so you can look like a boss babe. 